If you are making videos for YouTube or for the internet in general, and you're concerned about your competition or you're comparing yourself against the other people that are making the same type of content that you make, there's a big problem there, and I'm gonna change how you think about that. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. So a lot of people on YouTube, they get really concerned with what's going on with their competition. They look at their competition and they think, you know, oh, this channel's doing great. Why are they doing great where my channel isn't doing that great? What is going on? Why is this happening to me? Why are people not responding to me in the same way they're responding to those other people? So because of that, I wanna to get to the bottom of competition on YouTube. So one thing that I want you to think about is this. Yes, it is definitely important to have a gauge, right? To say, okay, these are all the different channels in my niche. These are the people that started around the same time as me. These are the people that have been doing it for a long period of time. These are the people that are basically in my space, so to speak, in terms of the content that I create. So therefore, I'm gonna keep an eye on them. I'm gonna see what it is that they're doing. I'm gonna watch all of their content so that I can get better in tune with what it is that they're doing so that maybe I can identify a nuance or something that I may be overlooking. But at the end of the day, it comes down to this. The only competition that you have on YouTube is yourself and all of the complexities that come with that. Let me explain. You know those times when you're thinking to yourself, you know what, I don't really feel like making a video today, or maybe, you know what, I could probably make a video today, but instead I'm just gonna put it off and I'm gonna make this video tomorrow. That is your competition, that procrastination that is saying, that is telling you, your brain that is telling you, I don't wanna make this video today, that is your competition. The feelings that you get when you're unsure about your content, the where you're like, ah, oh, you know what, I don't even know if I should put this out or not, or I don't know if people are gonna like this, that is your competition. Those feelings of insecurity, that is what you're competing against. That procrastination, that is what you're competing against. It's more important to compare yourself against what it was that you were doing yesterday than it is to compare yourself against somebody else that you don't even know what's going on with them. You don't know if somebody's getting traffic from an external source. You don't know if somebody has a lot more experience than you, and because of that, they're able to leverage that experience. You don't know what it is exactly that's making another channel tick. So because of that, just your judgment or just your comparison with that other channel and saying, hey, why them and not me? That is also your competition because what you're doing is you're, you're basically removing that from yourself and you're taking that heat or that accountability away from yourself and you're putting it on the other channels in the form of competition. Well, they're doing that and then this isn't working for me so I'm just gonna like study them and see what they're doing instead of focusing on what it is that you're doing and using your own stats, your own analytics to see how are people responding to my content and how can I make my content better? How can I get my click-through rate higher on my thumbnails? and competing against yourself. Another very big competitor that a lot of content creators have that they may or they may not even recognize is fear, right? Because a lot of content creators will, will be afraid to reach out to other people to collaborate with. A lot of content creators will be afraid to reach out with brands. And because of that, that fear, that's something that you're competing with. That is something that you need to change. That's something that you need to work through so that should be your competition way more than what this person on another channel is doing, way more than you know this group of channels that you think that you're competing against. Because here's the thing, YouTube, how they serve out content, right? It's all based on how people are responding to specific things that you're doing with your content, how people are responding to, uh, to other content. So for example, like one thing that I want you to think about in this particular case is if, you have a bunch of competition on YouTube and you have people that are watching your videos. They're watching your videos because they like the specific type of content that you are putting out. And how YouTube works is YouTube shows content to people that are most likely to watch that particular content at that particular time. So because of that, when you are looking at all these other channels and saying, all these other channels, these are my competition, it's more valuable to change your frame of mind and to change your thinking and say, you know what? These other channels are actually my allies because these other channels are channels that my content is going to be recommended next to. These other channels are people, human beings that I can reach out to to collaborate with to where we can grow this whole thing together. And look, it doesn't matter how long you've been doing this, right? We all have this same thing to where, you know, we will look at other channels, but looking at your competition, looking at them as allies, 
instead of you know these competitors, these people that are doing things differently than me, these people that are taking my audience, like them, the existence of the other channels, one, shows you that you have a market to tap into, and two, it also shows you that, hey, these are groups of people that I can collaborate with, that I can work with, that I can exchange traffic with and exchange viewers with in order to make everything work out for me as well. It's a collective, right? There's so many people on YouTube, there's so many people watching so much content, there's so many channels out there that you don't have competition. Your only competition is you. It's, it's the fear that you have that's keeping you from reaching out to brands and reaching out to people to collaborate with. It's the, 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 the focus on the other people on YouTube that are doing things that you may or may not you know, be trying to do. It's the lack of understanding is another thing. You know? like your competition shouldn't be, you know, what's this other channel doing? Your competition should be, do I really understand how this stuff works? Do I really understand what it is that my audience wants? When I look in my, when I look in my audience retention on YouTube, do I understand, if I look at that, do I understand why people are responding the way that they are and how can I make that change? That should be your competition. That should be what you're competing against is making the video that you're gonna make today or this week or this month, making those videos better than what was going on last month. At the end of the day, it all comes down to you. It all comes down to what it is that you are doing. If you are putting in the work or not, if you are trying to expand your understanding on how this stuff works or not, if you are reaching out to brands or not, if you are reaching out for collaborations or not, it all comes down to you. The only competition that you have on YouTube or with anything it is that you're doing, the only competition that you have is yourself. So one, give yourself a hard time. Say, how can I be better? How can I, how can I do this better? How can I understand this more? And two, compete against what it is that you are trying to accomplish. If you're here and you're trying to get to here, then your competition is all the space in between, right? I'm here right now and I'm trying to get to this spot, so what I need to do is I need to figure out all of the different things that I need to figure out in order to get myself to here. That is your competition, that is your race, that's the only thing that you're up against. What it is that you are trying to accomplish here on YouTube or in your life or in general, it's that. I'm here, I wanna get here, what is it that I have to do to fill in that blank? With all of that said, just focus on competing against yourself and not competing against people that you see as competitors. They're, they're allies. They're not competitors, they're allies. You are in this together. They're in a similar grind that you are. Like we're all doing this stuff together, right? So focus on competing with yourself and not competing with other content creators. Collaboration is always a win. And if you wanna learn more about growing your channel, making videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.